More than 7,000 people lined Martin Place in Sydney CBD at 4.20 this morning for the 96th Sydney Dawn service at the Cenotaph in Martin Place. Kenny Headley was there and is there now. Kenny, a huge turnout for a moving service there as well. Yes, about 2,000 up on last year, Pete. That Anzac spirit, which was forged on the shores of Gallipoli 108 years ago today, is alive and well. Faces young and old in the crowd uh, came out to honour those serving past and present. And the service was told this morning here at the Cenotaph in Martin Place that uh, Anzac Day is not about... Um, glorifying war. It's about honouring the courage and sacrifice that has built this nation. Now we had the laying of the wreaths, we had the lowering of the flags as well and Governor of New South Wales, Her Excellency Margaret Beasley with the dedication followed by that familiar haunt, the last post. As the dawn is even now about to pierce the light night, so let their memory inspire us to work for the coming new light into the dark places of the world. The dawn service ended here at 5.30, but since then there's just been a steady stream of tributes coming past the Cenotaph and bands as well. We just had the New South Wales Police Force band come through. Of course, they'll be marching in the march, uh, taking place at 9 o'clock down Elizabeth Street to Hyde Park. But after the ceremony this morning, I managed to catch up with a few people, including uh, the President of the New South Wales RSL, Ray James, also Mark Speetman, the Opposition Leader of New South Wales. Days like today, we remember all veterans and remember veterans of all wars and conflicts and our peacekeeping operations. It's incredibly moving, uh, just the, the silence and the calm, the stillness, uh, I think it just goes through everyone's uh, heart, a really incredibly moving service and great to see thousands of people out here today um, commemorating this incredibly important occasion. What does Anzac Day mean for you? Well, it's very important. My father fought uh, in the Second World War, he was with 76 Squadron at Milne Bay. Um, and uh, it's very important to, to uh, recognise his contribution to um, this great land of ours. My grandfather fought at Gallipoli and he was also at the Battle of Bathsheba and I have a cousin who fought at Viz Bretonneur. I personally had some family um, who have had service um, and yeah, it's really important. Are you marching at nine o'clock? Yes, I am. And 10 to 12,000 people, Pete, expected to line Elizabeth Street to catch the pageantry and tradition that is the Anzac Day March getting underway very soon. This yeah, one of the great spectacles that is. It'll all be live here too. Thank you, Kenny. We'll talk to you soon.